Hello and welcome. You're back to the next stage of Plants vs Zombies. I'm Reprobate Gamer, and we've just hit level 2-6 on our adventure. Let's get to it. Hopefully the cough has gone away. Uh, I believe we're at the start of a level. I've obviously picked plants on the top, so... Uh, Let's carry on straight into it. Yep. So I picked up for this one the sun shroom, uh, the cheaper little puff shroom. I've got fume shroom. I've got my grave eater. All right. Um, it's going to take me a minute to try and catch up where I am on this, actually. At the minute, I'm not entirely certain what strategy I was going with here. Uh, all right, I think I have an idea of what I'm doing. The issue you always have on these levels of the graveyards is you always seem a little bit more constricted to so get rid of these gravestones. We will take two columns of sun shrooms. Because we are going to want the extra sun later. Uh, I suspect I'm going to want to take up this greystone here sooner rather than later. And we'll make our set up a defense on the line I've just set up there which means I need to put a grave marker down to get rid of that gravestone pretty fast the space I probably want to get rid of that one front there I wish I could remember for the life of me. Oh, heck. There we go. That's what those ones do. Not so much take control of, of, it, of the zombie, but they certainly send it flying off the other way. Okay. So my sun shrooms are starting to build themselves up. I'm going to get rid of that one to give myself some clear space. And I very definitely want to be getting some of those freezing capable. Tax to it. So let's dig up that one. Put that one in its place. Grab those. Digging up that, stick that in there, and I'm going to chuck one in purely as a sacrificial one. Okay. Clear that one out. We're nearly at the end of it now already. Should have put that in the next level down. There it is. I'll get rid of the American foot ones. The American foot ones are strong. They are fast. They are generally not a good thing. So on this one, having put the snow pea in, it seems very much like overkill. But just to prove the point, we will put it in at the bottom. I have to say I'd totally forgotten that 2.6 was such a short level. It's been Alright. We've got our next card. So our zombies carrying seeds have yet again given us a present. And we have the Scaredy Shrew. A long range shooter that hides when enemies get near it. It is very cheap. But if anything gets near, yes. 
it will hide, it will be useless. So I'll take your sun tunes, plus tunes is normal, premium tunes definitely, grave busters definitely. We'll take hypno shroom, we're going to take walnuts to slow things down, and we're going to take the scaredy shrooms. So that partly to see what they can do. What a great hole on this one. Alright, that is a lot of greys on the centre. Okay. Not liking how many greys are in the centre of that, I have to say. I may check one out as a sacrificial, just to slow it down. Got time. I put that one in the wrong place, I think. Yes, I have. Let's put that one in to block it. So we're going to put a scary room there to support that. And it was, you could possibly tell I was going to be doing this defense on this one. Uh, by leaving this end column clear. <coughs> Excuse me. So essentially as long as I can keep everything back from getting say to my this first row of sun shrooms, I should be okay. Um, it does mean I need to get my grave busters working on this as fairly quickly. Judging by the size of things, we're going to take this. as a slightly s reduced size one. I'm only going to be trying to claim five columns worth of space on this. Right, that's all my sun shrooms in place. Got nearly all my scaly shrooms there as well. scale stream set up now. So now all I'm doing is I'm chucking down puff shrooms as sacrificials and I'm trying to, to kill off those things as much as possible. And if at any point a rugby play American football guy comes along, we are going to be removing him. with a lot of activity there. There's quite a few of them on top actually. No, it's alright. Held them off for now. I need to get mushroom in there. Let's slow you down for a moment. Go in there. Delete that one. Chuck that one in there. I do want that one in place there. Alright, so we've got screen doors at this point. You can hear the various single shot ones are just bouncing off that. But this is just going straight through a screen door. Which is rather marvellous. Uh, let's put another one up there to slow him down. You and we're gonna put a warrant in your place. Grab the gold coin. Eat that one up. But, uh, I think possibly I could have gone down this row here. Yeah, it would have been a close thing, I believe. So how successful that would have been.
I mean, yeah, possibly I could have managed it. I don't think they've been that busy. So if you're doing 2-7, you can do 6 columns on the basic one. See here, we're just doing standard. It's the wall defense we've been using all the way through. So the walnuts, boom shrooms, some flower seeds, and skater shrooms at the back. Skater shrooms are cheap, but if anything gets close to them, they are useless. So, almost there is a roadblock in many cases, anything else. Now I rem I'm sure there's meant to be. It's down there. This is going to be a bit more interesting because I'm wanting to get the American football player and nothing else, or else it's going to go horribly wrong. Whew. And the American football zombie will just make mincemeat of all those zombies there. And I'm going to put a scary stream in there purely as a roadblock. And you can see the scary stream is just sat there carrying under its carapace. Gained another nighttime plant. This is the ice shroom, which will temporarily mobilizes all zombies on the screen. This is another of our one use plants. Similar to what have we had? The cherry bomb is another of our one use plants. Alright, and we have someone new over there. With these funky sunglasses on. Uh, so let's go over our normal contingent. Whether to go for ice or scaredy shroom here. I may go. I I think we'll go with Scaredy Shroom here. We've got our one hit. And I would like, if I have another item slot, I might have put the Ice Shroom in. Ah, I've just put that in entirely the wrong place. I forgot which I had there. This is gonna be a bit more of a headache. All right, let's go with it. See, so at this point, I should have three shrooms on the go. I've only got two. Just I'm now running Sunshroom behind, which is going to affect how I do on this, I believe, I reckon. Oh, god damn it. Alright. I'm just going to offset them. So that's going to go there. And it's a bit more risky now. Scared this room in there. That one in there. And hopefully we have enough. Oh, here we go. I need some sun. As you can see, this one really makes...
which can be a lot of a challenge. And I think it's reasonably clear to see that being that little even there, that little bit behind. Get rid of that one. Now I've got a large wave of zombies approaching. I do not have enough. Ah, blast. Well, I had to there. I very definitely grabbed the wrong one. Kind of got away with it. And we're going to block you, I think. Need you to stop, if you please. Don't mind. I need you to stop. I need you to stop. That wasn't the one to put there, was it? do with that thank you Ooh. close as you like and slow you guys down dig you up and we'll put that one instead At this point, I'm just, as you can see, I'm just using stuff as blocks and keeping that one going. I possibly should have gone for the ice shroom, I believe. And now we have the doom shroom. So this destroys a large area and leaves a crater in its wake. This will destroy most of the zombies on the screen. To note is that you will not be able to plant wherever you place it. Alright, so... We're going to go with our usual configurations. But this time I'm going to take the ice room. And we'll go along with that one. We'll give that one a try. Because I think we might have wanted to be able to slow people down that. Uh, the dune room can be useful. I find that... I tend not to go for the dune room because I find that the not being able to plant things can often turn around and really be quite irritating. However, when you have lots of enemies on the screen, I'd far rather the space you couldn't plant in. Uh, so on the other hand, this does mean we get all get to try out the ice room. You see, not having that, not having to go back on that previous one wrong shroom has actually put us now. I think we had three at this point last time, equivalent on this previous level. Because the quicker you get your resource plants up, whether they're sun shrooms, whether they're sunflowers, generally the better for all concerned. Maybe not so much the zombies, but you know, they'll manage. Okay, I think then we'll take that one and there. Alright, so I need to get my tombstone eaters out now, as quick as I can, get my line assembled. Alrighty. 
dig where he's about to hit. Let's see if we can get as many things in as we can before that does. We're very definitely going to need it. Alright. We're a bit happy now. I've got all those bits in there. Eat that one, just to get out of the way. Be disco. No. All right. That's good. Bet a disco zombie in this wave. I'm quite glad there's not one. I must say. Really though, I'm not entirely correct on this one. I should actually be. The fast shrooms have slightly more range actually than the foom shrooms, so I should actually be trying to get them as near to my walnuts as possible. Don't let the sun disappear. I want the sun in. All right. So now what we're doing is swapping out these. have to deal with that walnut down the bottom as well. Except close to the bottom though, it's going to be... And there you go, nothing we've got is going to be reaching across the screen, so we've already set ourselves up for closer range defense. There's always a bit of a... F as well as stopping all the extra zombies from getting close to you, always that little kind of financial recompense. It's in the greys. And, al and also in that final wave. Grab the sun. There we go. So now we... We've got a fairly decent Defense here, let's see if we can get in this time. Hi, how you doing? Music just starts. And Disco Zombie is going to very nicely clear out those three lanes for me on his way. I'm going to swap out that Warnet ahead of the huge chain. I should have been a bit faster on the zombies. No, as you can see, my gravy to got eaten on that one. I fired him out of this a little bit too. Right, there is a disco zombie on his way in. I believe I may have killed him off already. Oh, there he is. Hi. There we go. Got him. This is now just these two left. That's level 2.9. So all we have left now. Hello, we would like to visit for Midnight Zack. How does ice cream and brain sound? Sincere to zombies. They're very polite zombies. Bring me letters to know when they're coming round. Bring me seeds so I can attack them more. That's quite a lot of zombies. That's an awful lot of greystones. And we're on a conveyor belt level. I can't remember what comes in on this level, I'll have to be quite honest. I'm not sure whether I need to be eating things or turning them round or let's put that there for now, start on him. And I think we're going to turn this zombie that comes to it. Hoping that one there passes away. At the minute, I seem to be getting a lot of one shots. Goes there. I may freeze this one. I think I will freeze this actually. I'm 
bit of scary shroom into doing what scary shroom does best which is standing at the back far away from everything That little one in entirely the wrong place at this stage. It's just something of a shame. All right, I need I need to have to use up something, so we're going to use up that one just because I need the space. Probably just pick the wrong one in that one thing. Please, you know, it's the one we control. It's going to be quite a lot of zombies making their way through. Plus side, that means I've got him midway through, which is good. So as long as he kills off the other... <coughs> and again up here. These two are not going to stop that. So we'll take those two and use them to our advantage. Now, making a fairly reasonable base defense across the way there. <coughs> We're going to freeze all those. Going to hold on to the scary shroom for now. I think possibly. Well, I was say, I say it should be far more long, but on the other hand. Some of those are getting pretty close to start with, so. We're just going to have to roll our way forward. So, we're about halfway through this level now. We're doing okay. Uh, we may be putting out the Doom Shroom soon. Because I am running out. In fact, I am going to. Let's freeze this lot. I need to do something about these guys here. Doom Shroom there. Kablamo. Everyone down. As you can see, nice big hole. Okay. Watching things. There you go. Possibly should. Right, so the aim here now is in this middle row. I'm hoping we can kill off the... Use the American football player. Finish, yes.
freeze that because there's an American football player there. I also want to get that. Don't think we must have enough time. Alright. Now I need to do. Please be. Yes! Those in there. So you can see, I'm trying as I'm going along, trying to get the screens back as much as possible, which is very definitely easier said than done. I managed to get rid of a whole bunch of tombstones. I'm trying to keep the numbers of uh, foom shrooms. Head through. Last wave. This is where it gets quite easy. Do something like a doom shroom there, and a doom shroom there. Couple ammo. That's when the doom shrooms come in handy. But yeah, so that was levels 26 to 210 of Plants vs Zombies on Xbox 360. Um, the clue in where we're going next, we have a lily pad that allows you to place non-aquatic plants on top of it. I think you might be able to guess where we're headed to next. Maybe. Just maybe. But anyway, I'm Gamer. Thank you all for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Uh, we'll see you next time.